Today is another day. We have part B of the calves. Our calves have been in here now a couple weeks and they've been doing well. We're going to reweigh them. We're going to just give them another shot of worms because calves have that. And then we got to move them over to pasture or pen A. And this is this little guy. So we just have to do a little bit of fence maintenance and uh, we're going to use a new little tool to help tighten this stuff instead of having to use that big fence fixer. So stick with us. We're going to prep this and get these little guys going. <laughs> Before I get to all of that, I wanted to show you the little last bits of progress here. You know, we've got this all done. You saw in the last episode, all of this stuff has been kind of cleared out, cleared out, right? It's kind of figurative. My wife came through and ground off the rest of these things. So this is all set. This is the exciting part that we have here is, boom, look what we've got. We have the wood, we're gonna start building, hopefully either today, I might start doing layout today, but next week we're gonna start framing everything. I honestly don't know how much of this I'm gonna put on film, if I'm just gonna do little snippets of, hey, this is the progress we got. I only have so much time to work during the day. I'd have to take off time off work. I don't have a lot of time to film, edit, all that other kind of stuff, and it might just get bogging me down. So anyway, we're gonna work it, and I'll show you as much as I can. All right, guys, we're doing some different stuff here. We have been using that Texas fence fixer, which grabs it and everything else like this. And what we're trying to do is make sure that those calves can't blow through again. And if you remember last year, we had two calves that blew out even after a week. And we're going to try and change that. You find yourself a little friend? It was on Ma's leg. It was on her leg? Uh-huh. It's probably like infectious disease and you never know. All right. So we have stays that we are going to use and also these jakes and these jakes are wire tighteners and the instructions here kind of show exactly how it works you have a tool you just slide it on you rotate it and then it loops back all right so we're using this because not every time do you need to like compress six inches of fence and uh, so I'm gonna show you those we've actually done some and then these stays so let's go look at the section that we've done and I'll show you kind of why we're doing this so barbed wire is a deficiency or an issue of barbed wire, I think, is that when you have a span, you can go 10 feet, 12 feet, 20 feet, depending on how far you wanna go, is that they spread, okay? So like if you take this line and this line, for example, they can spread. And so when a calf gets in there and pushes, it doesn't necessarily bow a lot, but it'll start to spread and they'll squeak themselves through. So what sometimes people do is they'll put like woven wire, and you saw that install that other spot. Woven wire is great, right? The problem I'm kind of have with woven wire personally is that it's not as simple to fix. Barbed wire is very simple to fix. You can just do one strand and so forth. If you've got tons of slack in your woven wire, it's just a little bit more complex. Woven wire is very good at not stretching, right? It's a very good mesh, perfect, okay? Just fabulous. But what these stays do, they're just little pieces of metal they're like a dollar a piece, I think. I don't know, I bought them like two years ago. And their goal here, they do slide, but they stop it from spreading, okay? So in that sense, what you're doing is kind of making a, a, a mini mesh that can't spread upward at all. So we have our posts here, I think, set at 12 feet apart from here to here, and we're putting a stay in the middle of each of these. Now, this fence was loose, and we tightened it. Now, this is the J-hooks. All right, these jakes, whatever. You just put it like this, and then you rotate it with the tool. You rotate it around, and it spins, and it comes up like that, okay? So what we're doing is we're just taking like an inch of space, slack out of this thing. So in times when you don't need a huge run of squishing it from a fence fixer, like three, four inches, these guys are the way to go. These stays are from uh, Beckert. They're 90, I think they're 100 stays, I think it was, and it was like 100 bucks, I think. And then these jakes, you can order them different sizes. They're 20 per set clips per bag. We're gonna get you some action shots. We have done this section right here because we're just, we're just that way, right? We've done that section and uh, wanted to make sure that we weren't gonna screw anything up, which we did. We actually broke the fence because you don't know how tight to put it, and I snapped it. So we had to put some, uh, repairs but that's kind of how it goes right you get a feel for it you start using it so let's get some action shots we have that whole other side lengthwise we're gonna get these things done and then from this point 
then we'll feel more confident letting these calves out. So these jakes, pretty simple. There's a tool here you can buy. Anyway, it's kind of fatter right here. That slides in the edge opening side. It doesn't fit like this, okay? It took me a while. <laughs> My dumbness here it took me a while to figure that out. Anyway, so that's why I'm, I'm uh, ignorantly telling you all the details, right? You're just gonna slide the wire right about there and then you turn it. Now you wanna make sure that the wire doesn't hit your orange on the handle, but otherwise it gets a little tight. I'm gonna have to stand up for this one. And then you get the little loop over. Now the last time I broke it, I really started to crank another time around. But you can see that's already giving you about an inch. Just a little S, it keeps it curved so it doesn't bind super tight, but that's good enough. Now these guys, see how this is all, and this is now tighter. All right, now it's time for stays. I think we've got three or four we can do. We pull these things out, and these guys are fun. Here, bug hold these. These are literally just, this is the top. It's wound tight, and then this is the bottom, it's super loose. And you can see how they just wiggle. They go on super simple. So we're gonna pick and mill. These are only so tall, so it'll take the bottom one, two, three, four, five lines. You go where you want and you just put it right over and guess what i'll let go and it just starts rolling when you get to there bam it just starts going again i'm not even hardly twisting this bam there it goes again and then we get to the bottom and boop So this can still slide. So if you're gonna do repairs, you can still move along the line here, which is great. But look, right here, you can't separate them. Here, you can separate. So this is super easy. It's a super wiggly, but it just holds it together. Perfect. This makes it almost like woven wire without the hassle of trying to repair woven wire. So. I am super stoked about this. We've got this whole line left to do, and we've got a little bit of those left to do, so we're gonna get cracking. We like to go down, but not quite hit the ground, guys. Well, we decided to just hop the asphalt and go to the other side, to the feed pen. Man, you know, guys, I've had these things for like, I swear, two years, like I said, and knowing how simple these things are to put on, do not be afraid of doing this. This is crazy simple, and I think it's gonna make a huge difference in not allowing escapes. And uh, gosh, man, I should have done this earlier. Like literally, you don't even have to flex half the time to put these things on. It's super simple, isn't it, Bug? Do you like them? Yes. So much easier than fence fixing. Yes. So much easier than fence fixing. Man. So much better. Wow. This makes me really think, do I really want a woven wire? I don't know, man. I don't know if I really want to do woven wire anymore. Because these, I mean, just think about it. One benefit is I can take this off and then treat the woven wire or the barbed wire just like it was as barbed wire. Second thing, this actually adds an additional visual deterrent between. It helps just show up better in the eyes of the buffalo and they may be less apt to even try and run into it. So, man, I can't say enough about this. These kids have been working on this about, what, two minutes? And we've got three, four, five, six. We've probably got ourselves 20 things here and they're pretty much done. And in case any of you are wondering, these are the repairs you know that we've done with the Texas Fence Fix. I swear I'm gonna curse every time I say that thing. 
Texas fence fixer, right? And it just adds extra barbed wire, you roll it up. The best thing is this is slack enough in it that it will go around those chunks. Now that might be a little bit more difficult, right? But the barbed wire like that, where you have a repair, it can actually still do it. So it's a blessing and it just works great. It doesn't necessarily slide as easy when you have double, but it will go across it. Nice. That's sexy tight. Whoa. This is seriously almost an addiction. This makes fencing fun. Maybe that should be the title to the video, right? How to make fencing fun. It makes me want to go another way. I know, I feel like that one could go another. I swear if it... Don't break. <laughs> just, I don't want it to break. Just don't break, it's fine. I don't know, man, that's still pretty Well, loose. try it, try it. Okay guys, we're gonna do it. Yes. All yes. Right. Didn't break. This takes a little bit oh, more yeah, effort good. than those stays do, guys, but it's well worth it. It's a lot faster than the fence fixer, especially for small jobs. One last one to go. Charlotte's going to jump in there and take that one. Super fast, super simple repair. How long do you think this would have taken with a Texas fence fixer? Oh my goodness. It would have taken a lot longer. Oh wait, the J hooks themselves, that was time saving. Seriously, by the time I got all five of those J hooks on, I think we would have been just still starting to twine on the fence, fence fixer. Now guys, don't think I'm trying to knock the fence, fence, fixer. fence fixer, gosh dang it. Um, it's great, right? It does a great job. It's for, I think, just not as small adjustments, right? So when you have big adjustments or things like that, you can do a fabulous bang up job. Um, but for these small ones, we just gotta take in that much to get it tight. I think this is the way to go, man. This is the way to go. Now, if you start looking out over here, you start seeing it a little bit better. You start seeing these verticals a little bit better and let's hope it works, right? But gosh, this may save me from having to put more of a fence in. This may give me what we need. All right guys, it's been some time and uh, we went crazy and we actually went through over a hundred of those stays and just kept going and going and going. Ate some lunch and now it's later in the day and it's these guys turn. All right, it's time to get these guys moving. We're gonna get everything set up, get everything going. Cause you guys remember we made these portable panels right over here. So we're gonna put them on the tractor, put them in position. The one area that we did not get is this one gate right here. So when it shuts, um, it just won't it won't be covered. So all it had to be me on the back side here worrying about it. We're gonna get everything prepped, going, and then we're just gonna weigh these guys and we're gonna do a drench on them because looking at the video, like um, it just doesn't look like some of them maybe got a full dosage, but calves always seem to be a little higher than than adults in the younger years. That's just the way it goes. So we'll give them a second round and uh, we'll let them out. So this should be very quick. There's no shots. There's no anything else going. And uh, we should be able to wrap it up fairly without, without any hiccups, right? But we're gonna see how these panels do all in here. How does it look? 
I think it looks good. We didn't tie these things. We're just leaning them up against it, right? And uh, the gates are tied shut, so it won't jar back a lot. So we're just gonna give this tipping method a try. And as you saw with the 12-footer, it hangs down low enough. We don't have to put a board under there. So everything is fairly well secured, I think. Let's see if this goes better than the last time. Yeah, a lot of gates. Let's go. Let it in, Clark! Clark, let it in! These guys are just chilling. Two of them in here. Tails are down, little wags. They're doing just great. We've got one in the squeeze chute that's turned backwards. It's just not... Actually, it's forward, sorry. Just won't move forward. And then, of course, we have that little guy. <laughs> anyway, calves, man. They're always a hoot. They're always a hoot. You never know what you're going to get with a calf. All right, time to break down. We got some calves done. Everybody's been moved over. Now there's three, of course, that were sneaky and devilish and a pain in our butt. So they went on the opposite side of the gate. Charlotte's over there to get those three calves. But hey, guess what? The fence is holding. So we're gonna break everything down. Charlotte's just gonna run them all up in here and then we'll help them just turn this corner and go in and go to the little area. So that's our job. Um, in the meantime, Weights were pretty decent. I'm gonna have to go check. I don't know, man, just just watch them. Tell you what, it's pretty sturdy. Back up, back up. One blew through it. Dang it. I thought it was impervious, perfect. All right, we gotta get these calves in. Ugh. Nope, all right, here we go, guys. Here's the corner. Here's this. That is what is left over from this day. All right. <clears throat> I will tell you that everything is stretched, super loose. All right. Now, when they came through here, they tried to jump and they did not get through here. They really tried, man. You can see the fur and <laughs> everything. Really tried. But this is where they came through. They ended up jumping over this guy in through here and they busted that down and they got through. What's the even funnier or crazier? They ran from this one right over there and then they jumped through that. I don't know if you can see the hole that they created there. So this is all open all the way down there. I mean, it's just, it's just there to help divide in case I want to use this same feed spot for these other two pens. It sucks that the uh, dented a stay They've trashed the stay, but the stay held and they didn't get through it. We're just gonna have to start adding some stays underneath these uh, H braces. So what I'm really impressed with is these guys are super soft and wiggly. We're doing just one twist of this Jake and it's fixing it. We didn't even remove the stay. There we go. Look how tight that is, dude, really. That's good. So, we didn't lose a stay after all. We'll just... It's just there. Leave it there. I'm sure we could bend this if we want, but hey, these, these guys are just sweet, man. They really are. They're really great. Okay, Bug, you're gonna put a stay right in the middle of all that mess right there. Yep. There it is. And we're gonna wrap this up, guys. Two new fencing things that I think make barbed wire fence repair amazing and strengthen it up. One, adding metal stays to it, a dream. And we just proved it. And then two, these little Jake things. I just did that repair in like seriously 20 seconds, all three lines, way faster than the Texas fence fixer. Things have their place. 
just use them for what they're good for. These guys are good for smaller repairs. Stays really strengthen it. I mean, I just can't say enough about stays. It's an addiction, man. So we're gonna get this all done. We'll catch you next time. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry we didn't get more buffalo. We're gonna announce, analyze the weights, see what we got. I'll talk to you guys later. Like and subscribe. See ya.